Hey, okay, we're journeying into section five. There's a couple things to do. One is, how do you solve what they call separable, or non-separable, I should say, non-separable differential equations? It's another thing that we've done in Calc 2, and you may or may not remember it, but I'm gonna remind you now. This is the one that involves the so-called integrating factor. Okay, so let's get started with this thing. This is what we're looking at. And can you describe this for us, please, what kind of an equation this is? Yes, it's a differential equation. Yes, it is a first order differential. It's also a first order linear differential equation. I think that's enough right there. However, we cannot get y dy and x dx, okay, separated. So instead what we do is we write it in the following form. I like to tell students like, okay, I wanna write it as y prime plus some sort of function of x times y is equal to maybe some other function of x. That's a special kind of um, problem uh, that we can do using the so-called integrating factor. So, and, and also notice we do have an initial condition. So once we're done, we got to find C and then wrap it up and say, there you go, there's our solution. So the first thing we should do is get rid of that X out in front because when we do this procedure, uh, we need that to be so, we need it out of the way. We end up with Y prime um, is, you, do I have this written down right? Let's see, I don't remember, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm gonna do this one anyway. Uh, let's see, I'm turning the page here. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so what we have is plus 3 over xy is 2x to the fourth. Okay, so now what you do, and I'll put this as little notes over here, is you take this guy and your so-called integrating factor is formed by integrating whatever that function is and then applying it as a, a function, as a power of the exponential e, okay? And when we do that for this equation, what we have is we take this guy and we take three over x and integrate it with respect to x. And in that case, what we get, by the way, is three natural log of x. Okay, don't need the c yet, okay? But what we do is we apply e to that. And what's cool about this one is this, I'll do this in this color, this three, you're gonna to wanna to bring in in these types of problems where it's the natural log, you're gonna to wanna to pull that in as a power because what happens next is what? Well, we've got e to the natural log of x cubed and e and ln cancel and our integrating factor is x cubed only, okay? So the next step, in case we need, if we're rusty or we've never seen it before, is we take that x cubed and we multiply both sides of the equation, the differential equation, by that multiplier, that integrating factor. So we have y prime here and whoops, what whoops, I don't want whoops, what's going on, plus three over xy, and I'd like to show students this. You, don't, you can be faster than I am. But when I multiply out, look what happens. We get x cubed y prime plus 3x squared, don't we? Y. And on the other side, we have 2x to the seventh. Okay. But what I want to draw your attention to is the following. This is a product rule. I've got x cubed and then its derivative 3x squared. I've got y and its derivative, y prime. So it's really looking like f times g and someone derived it and you get f prime g plus f g prime is exactly right. That's why we use this integrating factor because now we can say that this side is actually the product rule derivative of this function, x cubed, times this other function, y. And on the other side, just waiting for us to get done over there, is 2x to the seventh. So the beautiful news about this is now we can integrate with respect to x both sides and the definite integral and the, in, the antiderivative of a derivative, bada bing, they cancel. So the beauty is we have x cubed times y and now we integrate the other side. It looks like we're getting 2x to the eight over eight, so how about 1 fourth x to the eighth now we need the plus C. 
okay? That's important there. Okay, so we could be done by just dividing through by x cubed. Some people do it right away. I just go, before I do that though, what I do is I look for, okay, this initial condition y of two is equal to one. So when x is equal to two, we're supposed to get y is equal to one on this problem. So we plug them in and figure out what c is. So when we do that, I get two times two times two is eight times one is equal to one fourth. And then we've got, we've got two to the um, eighth power plus c. Well, that's gonna knock down to six. So what we really have is eight and then take away, well, what is two to the si 64? is equal to c and so what we're finding is what c is looks like c is equal to minus 56 so our almost answer is this i'll put this in bold black i'll say therefore x cubed y is equal to one fourth x to the eighth minus 56 and now it's you're supposed to here's your function y equals one fourth x to the fifth, and then minus 56, maybe x to the negative three. And folks, that's how you solve these so called non separable differential equations. That one's cool because when you integrate, you get a natural log, it, it reduces down to x cubed. They don't all do that, they stay powers of e, whatever happens, happens. But I hope you have a lot of fun with those. They're pretty straightforward, it's part of our course, and I'm glad you're going to be very successful with it.